United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. President Franklin D. Roosevelt called it a date which will live in infamy. Today marks the 72nd anniversary of the Japanese raid on Pearl Harbor. The attack killed 2,403 Americans and pushed the U.S. into World War II. New York's intrepid sea, air, and space museum remembered the occasion with a ceremony on the Hudson. Pearl Harbor survivors laid a wreath in the river to honor those who were lost, but of course, never be forgotten. Now, we're hearing from a local Pearl Harbor survivor who overcame obstacles that we could only imagine. He's being honored tonight as Grand Marshal of the Loosedale Christmas Parade. And on this anniversary of the attacks, he says he's thankful for his community support. A.C. Hillman is leading the way this year for Loosedale's Christmas Parade, which kicked off tonight. The World War II veteran says it's an honor to be Grand Marshal. The parade falling on the 72nd anniversary of the attacks on Pearl Harbor. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. It's a date Hillman remembers well. The 93-year-old says he was a Marine aboard the USS California, which had just pulled into Pearl Harbor. We spoke with Hillman today by phone shortly before the parade. He says when the chaos broke out, he thought it was all a drill until he saw the Japanese planes moving in himself. I looked out and I saw these two airplanes coming in. And they come over, right over it, and they dropped them torpedoes. And uh, they come right straight toward me. They come right under my, underneath where I was at. He says the explosion just shook the ship, so he was ordered to his second gun position and shot everything that came by. That is, until he ran out of ammunition. Hillman was shot in the leg and eventually ordered to jump into the water, which was ablaze with burning fuel. He tried to climb into a ferry, but was told he couldn't by someone on board. And he stepped on my hand and made me get loose. And I went back down, and I, I must have passed out or something, because when I come to, they were pumping that salt water out of me. Hillman said he watched each ship blow up or sink. 72 years later, he feels blessed to have survived that nightmarish day, but perhaps he said it best when we interviewed him back in 2012. You, you can say what you want to and everything, yeah, but there's somebody there looking after you. If it ain't your time to go, you ain't going. And now we certainly owe Hillman and all our veterans a debt of gratitude. Later in the war, Hillman landed with his Marine Division on Iwo Jima, where he was again wounded by an enemy bullet. While most of his fellow Marines have passed since then, he still keeps in touch with many of his comrades across the country.